I think the planet is officially off course. Doesn't know what the hell's going on. We got the tail end of this jolly cyclone from up Queensland way, and it feels like it's blooming winter. Yesterday we had heat stroke, today we're getting frostbite, so we don't know what's going on. But anyway, so apologies for the sound in about five seconds time when we try to load up a few paradise boxes. We're just taking a couple of extras back down so we can check the nectar flow tomorrow morning. So we just thought we might as well make it a worthwhile trip. So come along and see where we land. I'm only learning about this camera work, but I think with this weather on we might need more than just a windsock So there might not be a whole lot of talking. We might just be moving some boxes when you're not looking So if it's a miracle of bloody YouTube and suddenly they're on the trailer It's only because the cameraman whipped out because it's pissing down rain Epic fail. <laughs> well, I don't know, not an epic fail. Bloody, here we are with a cyclone off the coast. And the, you know, I don't know if you know anything about cyclones, the silly bloody weather doesn't do what it normally does, it's going around in circles. So it's decided to go back down towards Adelaide where we were headed because we checked the weather map this morning at about three in the morning and the silly jolly weather's gone the other way. So we decided, well, we better not go down there into a mud pit. So now we've got to go put them back where they were and we were just conversating about finding out exactly where the hives were that were there. <sighs> so yet again, yet again another learning experience for the bush bee man. Maybe we need to have, well, normally we'd have it on the other trailer and then we'd know where the bloody shit was, but because we're on our little trailer, we didn't have our normal pattern of recording of where the bloody hives were. So we've, we're checking our footage and we're going to try and put them back where they were. And so there'll be a competition for people to actually write in or... Is it, do you write in anymore? I don't know. Anyway, there's going to be a competition to see who can pick which box we fucked up <laughs> and didn't get back where it was meant to be. Because obviously you've got to put them reasonably back where they were because they'll be orientated to that spot and come back there. So Anyway, and we've got nowhere else to go. So we're going to give this a go. Anyway, my brain's a bit foggy because I've been up since bloody three o'clock, so I'm a little bit filming every all over the place. So if I ramble on a bit, it's because I haven't had enough coffee. Ah, <coughs> oh, dear, oh dear. Okay, this is officially ridiculous. <laughs> Here we go. We're, we're, we're back to where we started. But anyway, normally the weather goes that way. It doesn't normally go that way. <laughs> so, just as well we check the weather map though, otherwise we'd be standing in the hill somewhere telling you how wet it is. And then I'd be going, well, this was really good fun. <laughs> well, I don't know what the hell we would have done then. Anyway, we're going to put them back and hopefully we can put them back roughly where they were. Holy fuck balls, what happened? Oh, I don't know, the bloody strap let go. So we've got bees in bits and pieces going everywhere. And now we have to put our suits on because they're very upset as they would be if the house is ripped apart. 
Oh, blimey hell, this is not the ideal. That's why we should have used our lifter. This sort of thing doesn't happen then. Oh, crap. Oh, sorry, girls. What a bloody mess. Oh, shit. Wow. They're really not happy, as you would imagine. Ah. Might as well open the door because I don't think it matters now. Fuck! I guess if you were in a tree, this would never happen to you, would it? Hello! Knock knock! Sorry, ticks! Fucking hell! Oh, they're bloody peacefully having a little nap. Hang on, that's not gonna fucking work either. for real they have a they have a proper migration pallet thing that you can get and now it's going to try and rain again back together again you poor little buggers <sighs> things not to do in your spare time <laughs> all right well, anyway i guess at least we got them back together before it started pouring hey dear Not everybody's actually recording their journey on YouTube or bring their own cameraman along but I was just thinking it'd probably be a bloody good idea when you're moving your boxes around just in case of an emergency like this a bloke should take a photo on his phone at least that'd be a jolly good start hell who knows you might be able to put it in your album while we're on this storm ridden little mystery I'll show you something after we place these boxes on it we're gonna put them up the back here just so that they can sort their own crap out and then um, show you something over here that's a bad option for a storm. much for the plan of putting the bloody labels on these boxes without the wind. Anyway, <laughs> that'll have to happen tomorrow while well, you're not here. But come over here and we'll have a look at this mess. I just spied with my little eye. We've lost the lid off one of these boxes over here. <clears throat> Which is not necessarily a very good idea in the middle of a rainstorm. Oh, blooming it. The one box without a strap, isn't it typical? It does not look promising. We might just, I don't know, we'll just lift that super off and <coughs> see what the next layers do and see how, whether they made a little cluster to try and stay warm. Oh, well, actually, they don't look too bad down to this point. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hopefully, we haven't lost them. 
we're going to lose these bloody boxes very shortly anyway. Yeah, they're making me crazy. They're only meant to be for starting out, but you know, the starting out thing's taking a fair while to get rolling. Anyway, we'll put the lid on, we'll go and get ourselves a strap, and we'll, you know, hopefully they can all dry themselves out. Oh, well, that's what the lid's meant to be doing when it's on the bee boxes, keep shit dry. But anyway, kept the ground dry instead. Sorry, chick. I'm trying to tell myself it's all just an adventure. Fuck it, I know. I think that's nearly enough adventure for an epic fail morning. <laughs> We've been loading and unloading and fooling around and not sleeping. And nothing's actually happened. <laughs> We've sort of gone in a circle. Although we have had a bit of an emergency evacuation from the fruit fly excitement, so I guess that was one positive, which was what was the motivation for moving a few of these. Oh, but anyway, fucking hell. <laughs> Here we go again. The life of a migratory beekeeper, apparently. <laughs> Skippy, 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 the bush kangaroo. What's up, Skip? There's a whole heap of fucking bee boxes in our backyard. What the hell happens there? I always thought it funny how Skip, through the chicken noises, could tell you a number plate. <laughs> What's that, Skip? You said you see the bush bee man. He dropped off some bee boxes. Hopefully they get some nectar flow. Oh, I like these, said Skip. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. <sighs> what was the crazy shells? Oh, he was in a silver ute. And his number plate was WBC674. Hmm. He looks suspicious. Anyway, good old Skippy. You probably see that on the blooming internet somewhere if you typed in Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. He'd probably pop up. <laughs> You'd know what I'm talking about. <laughs>